Hello everyone and welcome to the Starving Dragons video unboxing of this, the Cooler Master Nova Touch TKL. Now Cooler Master aren't very well known for uh, making gaming peripherals or in fact peripherals in general. Um, they're uh, a hardware manufacturer from Taiwan founded in 1992. They generally have produced um, computer cases, PSUs, CPU coolers, and, and, and those kind of accessories in the past. Um, but in 2008, they created the CM Storm branch uh, subsidiary, um, which was responsible for creating uh, gaming and esports peripherals. Um, so that's what this product is, is sold under. So what makes this keyboard special? Well, Unlike the Razors and the Logitechs of the gaming peripheral world, this utilizes a very, very different type of switch. Those keyboards generally use Cherry MX switches, which are sort of the industry standard, um, or clones of those. This, however, uses something entirely different. It uses a Topra switch. Now, Topra switches are made by um, exclusively by Japan's Topra Corporation. Um, and they're an electrostatic capacitive keyboard switch. They actually have a lot more in common in some ways with a membrane keyboard than they do with a Cherry MX switch. As per Cooler Master's blurb, it says that the NovaTouch utilizes a patented hybrid switch design that combines the benefits of a mechanical spring-based switch and an electrostatic capacitive sensor to provide excellent tactility, comfort, and durability. The unique design of these hybrid capacitive switches require no physical mechanical coupling, therefore eliminating key switch bounce and chatter for a frictionless experience. Now, most people in the keyboard world seem to agree that Topra switches are the creme de la creme of switches. Um, however, unfortunately, the Topra Corporation does keep quite close control over those switches, and up until this point, they've, they've been uh, available in a very limited supply of keyboards, mostly um, the real force keyboards, which are actually manufactured by the Topra Corporation themselves. So let's have a look at what Cooler Master have done with the Nova Touch. As you can see, it's a very sleek, minimalist design, a simple black on black design um, with none of the extra gizmos and gadgets and LCD screens that you'd get on some of the Logitech gaming range. In fact, to emphasize Cooler Master's minimalistic design here, they've actually opted to make this a TKL keyboard. TKL stands for 10 keyless, and what that means is that they've actually entirely removed the numpad from the right-hand side of the keyboard. Included in the box is a very simple quick start guide. It's very quick and easy to go through. A detachable USB cable, a keycap puller, and a set of O-rings. Now the O-rings are there as sound dampeners. You can attach them to your keycaps. The USB cable being detachable is fantastic. Gives you a complete customization. The included keycap puller indicates that there's obviously something a bit more going on here than your standard Topra board, which doesn't really allow much customization in terms of keycaps. The only branding on the keyboard at all is at the rear of the keyboard, and it's just the simple CM Storm logo. Finally, at the rear right of the keyboard, you'll find the micro USB slot for attaching your detachable USB cable. Now that we've run through all the basics of the keyboard, let's look at the customization. As I mentioned earlier, the included keycap puller indicates that you can remove the keycaps, but for a Topra board, this is quite unusual as Topra stems don't have that great a range of available customization. But this keyboard includes Cherry MX stems on its keys, meaning that you can install any keycap set that's compatible with Cherry MX keys directly onto this with no modifications whatsoever. Here you can see the NovaTouch with my aftermarket keycap set installed. There's a few reasons for doing this. Generally, aftermarket keycaps are a bit thicker, a bit more durable, they feel a bit nicer. Having said that, the ones included are really good as standard. Obviously, you can tweak it to your own liking though. Lastly, I'm just gonna give you a quick sample as to how the keys actually sound. Um, what you need to do is you need to lower your volume until the background hiss cannot be heard anymore, and that will give you a vague indication as to what the keys sound like.
and there you have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video unboxing. If you have, please do give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. If you haven't, I'm sure you know where the dislike button is. Until next time, everyone.